The plot could have come from the mind of a Hollywood scriptwriter, but it's a thing of reality in Southeast Asia's newest and poorest nation, where 27 men and one woman are on trial for conspiring to assassinate East Timor's two top leaders. The men were rebel fighters under the command of Major Alfredo Renato. The woman, Angelita Pires, was his lover, and the alleged plot was to kill President Jose Ramos Orta and his Prime Minister, Shanana Guzman. According to the prosecution, it nearly worked. President Ramos Horta almost died after being wounded three times in the stomach after a guard shot dead Renato and one of his men. The rebel and the president had met a number of times, the last time a few weeks before his death. He brought this on to himself. He had ample chance to face justice as he demanded at the time. He uh, manipulated those people who were with him. But this trial is mired in controversy, suspicion and doubt about whether this was a genuine assassination attempt or in fact some kind of setup designed to rid East Timor of its lingering rebel problem. The hit was made at the president's residence in February last year at 6am when he was taking his regular morning walk. But why, the defence team are asking, would Renato leave the safety of his mountain stronghold to make the attempt in Dili and with only 28 men? Why all of a sudden he would decide when he's so close to being free to destroy everything? Because that action was destructive. So I don't believe in it. Not at all. But there are a number of inconsistencies in the case. An investigation by an Australian forensic team concluded that the two rebels had not been shot by any weapons carried by the president's guards, which have NATO-issued ammunition, and that they had been shot from close range from between 15 and 30 centimetres. The men were shot in what would appear to be, what would appear to be, um, a, 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 how would you describe it, uh, a, a, as if they were shot professionally. A hit. A hit. This is a photo of a group posing around the body of Renato during the post-mortem examination. It includes a leading member of the prosecution team. But suggestions that Renato was set up because he was a threat to the government are strongly denied. There is a conspiracy. Well, uh, it would have been a conspiracy of a dangerous nature. If he had walked into my compound, disarmed, and not a single soldier took action. It would have meant the soldiers got in the house were conspired with him against me. The president, a Nobel Peace Laureate, is an extremely popular man in East Timor and many dismiss as absurd suggestions that he could have been party to any plot. And he was, after all, shot three times. The case is expected to last until next March. Tony Bertley, Al Jazeera, Dili.